Why, hello there. Alrighty, well, seeing that I'm back to doing what I was doing uh, quite a while ago, um, this is for your PlayStation Portable. It's a 1000 model or the hackable 2000 models. It's permanent custom firmware 6.39. Now, a lot of people are asking, blah, 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 just and dab, my PSN isn't working, yada, yada, yada. Well, you gotta update your firmware. If your firmware is too low, the update server that you have on your PSP for the PSN is not going to correspond with the newly updated server that they have because of the PSN crash. So that's why you're not being able to get online with like 5.00 or 5.50 custom firmwares if you're still on them. So, um, getting down to business. PSP 2000, obviously. And uh, what you're going to need is the official firmware 6.39. Uh, which I will have for you. I can just open this up right here. And voila, 639.pbp. I'm going to have you download that and along with the custom firmware pack uh, right here, the 6.39 Pro B7 custom firmware. So let's just take a look at this real quick and uh, I'm going to open this up here. <coughs> and you're going to see uh, in the game folder you got the CIPL flasher and the pro update. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the pro update first and then the CIPL flasher. So, um, pretty much, uh, do, 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 do. let me just double check right here. Uh, go back. My friends. Um, Execute fast recovery. Okay. Anywho, so uh, I need a USB cable. Ow. <clears throat> All right. So let's get down to business. I'm gonna. Holy shit! I'm gonna get mad text messages. But uh, I'm gonna connect my PSP to USB mode. So okay. What is this at? Anyways, computer, mobile disk G, and we're gonna go to PSP and game. And we're going to right click, make a new folder, and we're going to just call this update, all in capital letters. Open up that folder, and you're going to come to where you have your 6.9 PVP downloaded to. Drag and drop that into the PSP's game folder. <gasps> Let that copy over. Now that that's done, you're going to want to rename this to EBOOT on capital letters and call it a day. So now what you're going to need to do is exit your USB mode. Take PSP and scroll over to the game category and you're going to see PSP update version 6.39. So you're going to update that. Now this is an official firmware update. Now don't get all sketchy and everything because this is clearly what you have to do. Now, uh, we're going to let this boot up, and uh, it doesn't matter if you're on custom firmware or not, you can still always update to official firmware, and uh, this thing is taking forever to load. Come on. There. So we're going to start the update, like so. And accept to the terms and start. So now we just gotta wait for this to finish. So what I'm gonna do is just pause this and get back to you when this is done. Uh, uh, fucking updating. Okay, so it's done updating. So you're gonna restart your system and you're gonna be on official firmware, obviously. So, uh, 
I hate how there's a cell tower down near my house. It's kind of garbage. But anywho. So, now that I'm back on official firmware, none of my ISOs or anything are going to come up. And uh, go to my system settings here. System information, 6.39. Everything, the whole nine yards. So, what you're going to do now is go and connect your PSP back into USB mode. So, that'll connect in. And uh, come over to the computer and go to the removable disk. Open up your PSP folder and then back to your game folder. You can delete that update now. So we're going to do just that. And we're going to come over to our CIP L flasher and our pro update. Now you're just going to drag and drop that into your PSP game folder. Let that copy over. And now it's back to the PSP. You're going to exit USB mode, and you're going to come over, and you're going to see the, uh, <sighs> the pro update. Ula ula. So you're going to start that. Now, it's signed, so that's why it's going to work on official firmware. So, boot up. Pro B by Team Pro. Press X to launch the custom firmware. So, hit X. Do just that. It's gonna do a whole bunch of flashing, and then you're gonna hit X again. <clears throat> and your device is going to reboot. And you should have the SH menu, and your ISO should read again. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to see the CIPL flasher for Pro B. We have... First, we're going to come over, go to our system settings. System information, you're going to see Pro B7. Go over to your game again, and you're going to activate the CIPL flasher for Pro B. So you're going to start that up. Once that starts up, after this amazing PSP boot screen goes away, um, do, do, do custom IPL flasher for 6.39 raw IPL install the CIPL. It's gonna restart. And if you hold your R trigger down while you're doing this. You're going to notice the recovery menu don't come up, and just to um, prove that, I'm going to reset the device and hold the R trigger down again. There's your recovery menu. So, um, if you come to your configuration, you'll see the ISO mode, it'll be Inferno. Fake region is disabled. XMB USB device. Hide your MAC address. Skip the game boot screen. Skip the Sony logo at startup. I'm going to enable that because I really get annoyed with that. Custom update server, which is the custom firmware update server that you can download these packs straight to your PSP over the network. And, um, version text. Uh, Prevent hibernation, that's for the PSP Go. So this uh, will work with PSP Go. Um, not this firmware, but a different version that's designed for PSP Go. And charge battery when USB cable is plugged in. So, all that good stuff. Now, uh, advanced, you can shut down your device, registry hacks, activate the WMA, activate the flash, good to go. back to exit the recovery menu just hit back it'll be at the top of the list and uh, change the CPU to 333 for 166 you got the M33 driver Sony driver and the Inferno driver for your ISO I recommend leave it on Inferno 
And uh, yeah, so now you have custom firmware 6.39 Pro B7. So uh, there you go. Enjoy your custom firmware. I'll have the links for you guys and everything, and this video will be up tonight and many more to come. So um, I will be making a chat video uh, on a few things that I'd like to discuss and for you guys to understand better. So that'll be coming up as well. And also stay tuned for more stuff to come. And uh, I'm working on jailbreaking the iPad. So uh, on 4.33, which I need to use red snow and shit. So, but anyways, um, I'm going to get to that and I will have links and everything. So enjoy guys, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to answer. And I also have a moderator in the uh, on my channel now. So, uh, submit stuff to the moderator and I will have a video every week on answering your questions personally. So, uh, yeah, take it easy guys and enjoy.